I think now what would be really nice is to sort of answer a lot of the questions that people might have about your forthcoming exhibition. Because it's quite a considerable achievement, um, the face-to-face -face exhibition. I mean, convincing around 30 of the nation's best writers to sit for portraits is a fairly considerable achievement, in my opinion. So, if you don't mind, why don't you just start telling us how it came about? Where was your inspiration? I understand you've done portraits in the past, but never of writers. So how did this kind of come about? Because in a way, it's the uh, end of the circle. Uh, uh, of the, be the beginning was theatre, then came the ballet, then came music, then came the visual arts. All the protagonists that I chose who inspired me in the, all those uh, disciplines. And the only one uh, so far outstanding was literature. And of course it was the most challenging of all because these people hide uh, uh, behind their work and uh, they don't really ex uh, exteriorize. And I just found that really quite challenging. Uh, a, th a number of them found it an intrusion and to break down their resistance was quite quite difficult um, and uh, I found it very exciting in, also in, from the point of view of interpretation by including their work and what I feel about them in connection with their work so it was like cooking and each, each uh, author presumably posed very different challenges some perhaps were more um, reluctant than others, and some perhaps enjoyed the experience more than others. Well, you can say that again, yes. <laughs> <laughs> some were extremely reluctant to be uh, sort of uh, in invaded, um, but they were very cooperative and very nice and about it, and gave me some of their very valuable time. Uh, so I was very privileged to be with these extremely talented people who gave me all their time to do this. Uh, and uh, uh, I, all I did was try to do my best in, in following my aim. And how, I mean, you, you, you have some of, like I said, some of the nation's greatest writers. Um, and I, I just wonder how did you choose who, was it... Um, the, were you drawn to their appearance? Were, had you read a lot of their work? Um, you know, had you in fact read something by? Yes, all the I have read uh, quite, quite a few, uh, quite a lot. But I was also advised by uh, some writer friends who admire the other writer friend uh, of whom maybe I've never heard <coughs> before, uh, and who were very exciting visually, like uh, certain people can mention behind me here. <laughs> yeah, we've got Mr. Colm Tobin, Colm Tobin peering over your shoulder. Yes, um, and uh, who I didn't know very well, but I read his masterwork, and um, of course visually he was irresistible. So uh, it was a mixture. It was visual and admiration for their work, and... Uh, also, it was a question of availability because some some of them who I would have liked to have included were not available at that time. They were either in the middle of a book or <coughs> were away. But um, most of them were very happy and not not happy but willing <laughs> to do it. So I wonder if so. Some of them you had read their work before but hadn't met them. Were there any surprises? Were there any people who? You expected to behave in a certain way or to have a certain character, and they and they didn't, and, and you were surprised. Yes, uh, well, uh, <clears throat> there were one or two who uh, I found quite amazingly different, uh, um, like Josephine Hart, for instance, who uh, uh, was as sunny as anybody can be, not not a problem. Uh, full of life and then I kept reading her books which were the most sinister, dark amazing stories and I just couldn't 
find uh, any relation between the two. So I'm entitling the painting Dichotomy because she was in fact two people. And uh, she obviously sublimated her other self in her work. The only way I could interpret that <coughs> was with two portraits. So I, I did a double portrait. Mm. That was so interesting. Wish I could have met her. <laughs> and what, I mean, you're saying that these, all these characters, some were more reluctant than others. What were their reactions when they finally saw the pictures? I mean, did they have quite strong reactions? Were they, I imagine it must be quite strange being confronted with your image or somebody's interpretation of you. Well, I was very gratified by some of the reactions, like, for instance, Josephine, who said that she feels I have revealed her to herself which I found very uh, gratifying. Um, and I'm, I have had some wonderful letters and uh, uh, from like, uh, 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 Seamus Heaney. Uh, he wrote me a wonderful letter and uh, uh, I just found it, uh, it, it surpassed my expectations, the reactions I got from some of them. And are there any people who you were keen to draw, but for reasons, um, you know, availability and that kind of thing? Yes, uh, there were some people, uh, like for instance, uh, John Le Carre was in the middle of a book that he was writing, and in, <coughs> in the time that I wanted, he, he wasn't available. And um, Salman Rushdie, <laughs> I would have liked to do... A, uh, he physically he was a very interesting subject and um, he he was he would have been away all that time and he just didn't come back to England during the time by the time I finished the series <coughs> so, so do you think you'll pursue this theme now I know you've talked about closing the circle but you know you're such a an inquiring mind I can't imagine you went resting on your laurels what will you pursue this further or are there any other projects that you're going to work on or are working on at the moment well at the moment I'm working on a project I am actually uh, painting uh, pictures based on my collages that I did uh, a few years ago uh, of uh, where they are sort of bit they they are between symbolism and surrealism, so totally different, nothing to do with portraiture, because mm -hmm. I'm not really a portrait painter, I, I just happen to paint people when I feel like it. Um, and um, I'm working on that now, and uh, uh, I'm just doing things uh, from ordinary life mm -hmm. that happen, because I feel a little empty after this is two and a half years of intensive work, this was, and I just feel a little empty and just trying to regenerate myself now. Well, I don't blame you. I think you've deserved a well-earned well rest. Juju Robles, thank you very much for coming in and talking to thank us. Thank you. And good luck with the show. Thank you very much. <laughs>